Hello. Thank you for joining us in praying the Stations of the Cross on the first Friday of Lent. We live in such a quick-paced world, and we often lose sight of what we're doing, why we're here, and where we're heading. Our Mother Church has given us this season of Lent to help us slow down, not just on the outside, but also from within, so that we may refocus our attention and desires. In the midst of such a busy world, this is an acceptable time to ask ourselves, what is the deepest longing in our hearts? Let us today ask for the grace to recognize our thirst for God in this busy world. We realize that only in God can we find our ultimate fulfillment. Only He can satisfy the aching of our hearts. As the As much as we thirst for God, His thirst for us is even greater. As we pray the Stations of the Cross, let us be reminded of God's thirst for each of us and the great length He is willing to take in order to reveal His love. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, we offer this first Friday of Lent offering this time to pray for each of us and those who have a great longing and thirst in their hearts. May they come to realize that only in you can their thirst be quenched. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. After being scourged and crowned with thorns, Jesus was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. Dear Jesus, help me to see the people in my life through the, your eyes, not the eyes of Pontius Pilate. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The weight of the cross shows heavily on the brow and face of Jesus, yet he moves forward without a word of complaint. Dear Jesus, teach me by your example how to carry my daily crosses. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The 
The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus is known by all for his strength and courage, yet he falls under the weight of the wooden cross. Dear Jesus, help me always to trust in your loving care for me, even when I fall. Fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how the son met his mother on the way to Calvary. Her love and faith strengthened him. Dear Jesus, help me to see how often you love me through the people in my life. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus accepts the help of a bystander to carry his cross. He can no longer carry the weight of the Roman cross alone. Dear Jesus, teach me by this station not to be prideful. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Veronica wipes the blood and sweat from the face of Jesus. A single gesture of love and concern, and it meant so much to Jesus and to Veronica. Dear Jesus, just as Veronica wiped away the sweat and blood from your brow, wipe away my selfishness and lack of love for others. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Once again, Jesus stumbles and falls under the weight of the heavy wooden cross. His body is covered with bruises, and he is blood-stained from head to foot. Dear Jesus, teach me to persevere in your love until death. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The eighth station, Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus forgets for a moment his own pain, anguish, and the weight of the cross, and comforts the women who follow him. Dear Jesus, teach me to help comfort the people I meet in my life's journey. Jesus. 
Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus, completely overcome by physical weakness, slumps under the cross for the final time. Dear Jesus, teach me not to give into despair or discouragement. The 10th station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus, too weak to walk and nearing his final moment, is stripped of his clothing, a savage effort by the soldiers to humiliate Jesus. Dear Jesus, Help me to strip myself of all attachment for things of this earth. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus, too weak to carry the cross any farther, is nailed to the cross. Dear Jesus, help me to see your cross as the great sign of your love for me. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus utters a loud cry, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He bows his head and dies. Dear Jesus, help me to see my crosses as way so of helping you. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. It was only after the death of Jesus that he was recognized as the Son of God. His peaceful resignation and acceptance of suffering and death were proof to the centurion that he was God's Son. Dear Jesus, Help me to place my life in your hands. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The 
fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus lived so humbly and simply that he had no place to be buried. They laid him in the burial place of a stranger. As the soldier closed the door to the tomb of Jesus, a new chapter of the person and life of Jesus opened. Dear Jesus, help me to believe in your closeness and loving presence. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Closing prayer. Lord Jesus, help me to walk with you each day of my life even to Calvary. The sorrow and joy, the pain and healing, the failures and triumphs of my life are truly small deaths and resurrections that lead me to closeness with you. Give me the faith and trust I need to walk with you always. Amen.